July 2023. Sun shining pretty bright. Testing out the Jackery. 80 watt dual sided solar panel with the 240 generator. And uh, we're putting out about 72 watts. Not bad. It's at 83% capacity. And as you see, this picks up reflection from the sun and sends it to the back of the panel also. And as you set this up, you can just look in the back, tilt this. There's a little Velcro, Velcro strap. Move this in and out until you see the back of the panel light up. That's where you get the best results. So um, out of a 80 watt solar panel, getting a high percentage of the rating. We started, I think, about 75. It's coming down a little bit. Okay, so in case you're wondering how much the dual-sided panel puts out, if you're just having one side facing the sun without the, the reflector on the 240, sun's out pretty good. We're getting 67 watts out of one side. So apparently when you use a reflector, it looks like it adds maybe around 10 watts or a little bit less. So there you go. If you're too lazy to use a reflector, you got full sun. One side is putting out 67 watts into the generator. And just a quick tidbit. When this generator gets near full charge, apparently it looks like it throttles the input from the solar panel. So if it's at 100% or near that, you plug it in, there's a good chance you might not get a full reading. I'm gonna double check with uh, customer support on that. But for now, one side, we're getting 67 watts over here in Brooklyn. Not bad. Okay, and just in case you're curious, if you wanted to put a solar panel in your window and it's hitting the sun, probably not the easiest to get the right angle. Because uh, even in here, the top half is blocked by this. Probably have to put it all the way out. But right now it's only showing two. I had about 10 watts before. So if you mess around with it, you can get something if you're stuck in your apartment and you want to soak up some sun. Probably, I mean, if you have little area outside your window where you can place this where you can tilt it up and hit full sun uh, yeah then you're gonna get full power but okay one more test and we're looking west out the window i laid this on the fire escape it's about 4 30. there's the sun up there and i kind of tilted it rested it at a particular way as his much to where, you know, if you were coming straight out with a pole would be aimed towards the sun. And we're getting 36 watts. So that is not bad at all. If I put it in the window, which I'll show you in a second, I'll probably go down to about 10. Let's do that. Okay, so I put it in the window, the screen is up, so there's nothing blocking it except for the top part of the window, the bottom part over here. And so uh, we're getting zero. So apparently it's really important on the direction of the panel. So even though the sun is hitting it, it's hitting it at a, at a very high angle. And so we're getting zero watts there. So at best, maybe you'll see a couple of watts here and there, but you know, you got to face this towards the sun. So there you go. Okay, so here's something really interesting. Just for the heck of it, I put the panel, I leaned it against the bed because I noticed the sun was coming through the window and I figured, let me stick it, uh, you know, put it up facing the sun the best I could and see if I got a reading. I didn't get a reading at all, but this was at about 90% from where I left off in the last clip and it just brought it up to 100. So even though the input showing zero watts, there's something coming in. So I don't know if it's a defect or it's the way it's designed, but it's nice to know that this is actually doing something too. And who knows, maybe just daylight hitting this will be enough to add a few watts to the generator. So there you go. All right, appreciate you watching. Thanks again, and uh, appreciate you give a, a thumbs up and a subscribe.